With a Bitcoin ETF expected to pass in just a few months, I want to talk about a crypto project that benefits directly from a Bitcoin ETF. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, the entire crypto market does benefit from a Bitcoin ETF. We'll see Bitcoin, Ethereum, and countless other altcoins see massive inflows from institutional investors. But there's one project in particular that I think is going to benefit more than any other outside of Bitcoin. And that project is called Bitcoin ETF Token. Symbol is BTC ETF. And currently it is in pre sale and I did recently just buy some tokens of this project. You can see that they have raised just under $50,000 in right around 48 hours, which is extremely exciting. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that by investing in Bitcoin ETF token, you benefit directly from a Bitcoin ETF being approved, a Bitcoin ETF launching, and just Bitcoin doing well in the future. So we're going to go over exactly how to buy it, how to stake it, some of the benefits of it, but I want to talk about some of the main features of this token. So when you scroll down a little bit, it says, what is Bitcoin ETF token? Uh, a token for new Bitcoin ETFs, an exchange traded fund for Bitcoin has been a modern dream for Bitcoin believers for years. And from the first applications to the latest official validation by BlackRock, um, ETFs for Bitcoin appear inevitable. And like we said at the beginning of the video, it's expected to pass in just the next few months. We are all expecting a Bitcoin ETF to pass. Bloomberg analysts have said there's over a 90% chance of it passing this year. And if you go into 2024, it is almost 100% that we're going to see a Bitcoin ETF. We're seeing many other analysts say the same thing. With Bitcoin ETF token, the thing about it is that when you look at their white paper, their whole entire mission is that Bitcoin ETF token is a visionary project that is anticipating a Bitcoin ETF passing. It's an ERC 20 token built on the Ethereum blockchain, and it capitalizes on the expected approval and launch of Bitcoin ETFs. So ultimately, it provides a number of unique opportunities for the crypto community to um, benefit and profit potentially from significant events happening with regard to a Bitcoin ETF. And what I mean by this is that they have a whole entire um, milestones and roadmap that you need to be aware of. And when you look at their website, they talk about these milestones. They break it up into a pretty simple format that you can see. They say, ultimately, when each of these milestones happen, it's going to make it much more valuable to own Bitcoin ETF token. For example, when we see a $100 million trading volume, when the total BTC ETF trading volume hits $100 million, 5% of the total supply of BTC ETF tokens will be burned. Sell tax will be reduced from 5% to 4%. Then when you see a Bitcoin ETF approval, the first Bitcoin ETF approval, we're going to see another 5% of the total token supply burnt. And then again, sell tax is going to be reduced from 4% to 3%. Then with an ETF launch, so we're going to see that when the first Bitcoin ETF does launch, another 5% of the total supply of BTC ETF tokens will be burned and the sale tax will be reduced from 3% to 2%. Then when we see assets under management for Bitcoin ETF. ETFs surpass $1 billion. Again, another 5% of the total supply is going to be burned, and the sales tax is going to be reduced from 2 to 1%. And then when Bitcoin reaches $100,000 per token, that is when you're going to see another 5% of the total supply burned for BTC ETF tokens, and the sale tax be reduced down to 0%. So ultimately, there are five different milestones that will burn 5% of BTC ETFs token. Each of these events, you know, burn 5%. So there's a total of 25% of the total supply of BTC uh, ETF tokens that will be burned. And I talk about this in their tokenomics. You see that it says that there's a total of 2.1 billion tokens, 40% are allocated to pre-sale, 25% to staking, 25% to burn, 10% to liquidity. And this is very, very important because you could see that over time, if you believe a Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved and launched and ultimately draw a lot of institutional investors into place, well, then all automatically this token becomes more valuable because of this massive burn taking place. And in addition to this, you can see that it is a very much community driven project because of the fact they have 40% of their tokens being allocated to pre-sale, which is something that I really like about it. It's not the team is just buying a bunch of the tokens and they can just dump it on investors. It's very much a community driven and a community oriented project where vast amounts of the supply are going to be allocated to just raising money from the community in the pre-sale. 
Now let's talk about staking because they have a significant value with staking, which they talk all about in their white paper. They talk about how the pre-sale, they talk about staking, they talk about all these different milestones. But with staking in particular, the thing I want to point out is that they have 25% of the tokens allocated to staking. That's 525 million tokens. Staking is something that is very important for BTC ETF tokens. And if you look at the rates right now, the APY, you can see that by simply going ahead and staking your BTC ETF tokens, you can generate rewards of up to 4,273%. It's something that's very simple to do. Um, and one of the main reasons why this token has seen a lot of attention and a lot of you know success in the last few days has been because of its mission and why people are you know betting on a Bitcoin ETF to pass. Hence, Bitcoin ETF token increasing in value, but also because of the massive value from uh, staking BTC ETF tokens. So if we go ahead and buy the token, you could buy it with ETH, USDT, card. It's very simple to go about doing. Right now, one BTC ETF token is equal to $0.005. You can go ahead and just click in how much you ETH you want to buy and click buy now or buy and stake. Let's click buy and stake. And then all you need to do is go ahead over to your wallet. You just need to then go ahead and confirm the transaction. It's going to say processing, and then you'll see it'll say your purchase was successful just directly here. So now I've gone ahead, purchased a total of 3,715 tokens. And if you want to go ahead and stake it, you can. But as you saw, I clicked buy and stake. So the tokens have now already been staked, as it said right here. So if you click on staking on the top of the screen, you can see it says my staked balance is 3,715 BTC ETF tokens and over time we're going to start generating this apy of four thousand two hundred 271 percent so we're going to be able to claim these rewards over time as you know we start generating these rewards so that's something that again is attracting a lot of value to the token last few things i do want to go over is going to be in terms of the roadmap you scroll down a little bit you can see it talks about the roadmap and a few of the main stages stage one which we're in right now is the pre-sale it's the birth of the bitcoin etf token this is where they're going to start having community awareness what we're doing right now where i learned about the project you guys are messaging me about it. We're seeing it in the news articles, on Twitter, just everywhere. This is where the community really starts to grow. Pre-launch. This is B BTC uh, ETF tokens marketing during the pre-sale phase. They're going to be initiate marketing that highlights why people need to hold BTC ETF. They're going to start um, continuing to promote it before the SEC approves the very first Bitcoin ETF from um, launching. Moving forward, the next phase, phase three, is going to be BTC ETF launch and a 5% burn tax. So after launching on a DEX, a token burning mechanism automatically reduces the token supply, which each sell transaction, increasing the scarcity. Sales tax decreases by 1% each time a Bitcoin ETF milestone is reached. And you can see they talk about that all right here. These are the different milestones. So it starts off at a 5% um, sale tax, which it says right here. And then each milestone reduces it until it goes down to zero. Like we said previously, where you know Bitcoin reached $100,000 per coin, sales tax reduced from 1% down to 0%. The next phase is going to be phase four, which is the 25% token supply burn, which we talked about. That's when all the milestones are reached and officially we do see that the sales tax has been reduced by each milestone one percent down further and further until it gets down to zero so ultimately if you believe in this project long term it's basically you're saying you believe in a bitcoin etf so if you think a bitcoin etf is going to pass it is worth checking out this token. That is the main reasons why I have bought some of these tokens, because a lot of you guys have been telling me about it. And I know for a fact, and am very, very confident in a Bitcoin ETF passing. Like, yes, it's not 100% guaranteed, but I would be absolutely shocked if we didn't see a Bitcoin ETF pass. And as a result of that, I do think we're going to continue to see Bitcoin ETF token continue to increase in value. So this is a part of the thing that's pretty cool, and I definitely think it's worth checking out.